is this really the best tripod for vlogging or maybe there's something better out there if you would look into vlogging for the first time a lot of people use the same tripod everybody is raving about this this joby thing i've had this for a bunch of years i used it for everything from a light stand to a tripod but i've never really extensively used it because for some reason i've never really had the need to put my camera on a tree branch or around the railing um, I don't know it's just not something that I've ever needed to have and uh, so when watching Peter McKinnon or Casey Neistat who apparently invented this banana shaped way of doing your selfies um, you see these these people I gotta get this in camera you see these these people holding the camera obviously with a, with a whatever it, it's mounted on and they're holding this thing away from them and they're talking to the camera but frankly this is really hard to hold I mean I know I don't have small hands I'm not I'm, I'm not a small woman but it's just I can't reach around it and this is not even the biggest one they have this is it used to be the focus we used to call the focus it's now called um, the one the 3k I think it's 3k and then the bigger one is the 5k and that's just massive and heavy it's not a heavy tripod it really isn't but I found when using it like to to put the camera in front of you for filming um, I really have a hard time gripping it and, and holding it comfortably and then when you want to use it as a tripod you gotta bend the legs and you gotta make sure that everything is in order and then you stand it down and it's wobbly and and these joints after a few years after using them a little bit they get really really um, wobbly I have one here it's, a, it's an older one it's creaking but this one leg it's not even you can't even do anything anymore because they they get so worn out. It's just something that will fail with time. While I was hunting down a tripod to support my camera and the ring light I'm using right now, I came across a different tripod. Now this little thing is called the Siriu 3T35K. Um, it's all metal. The whole thing is made out of metal. This tripod is different, obviously, you can see that, but it doesn't have these tripod legs. It has more like little feet. So you grab the thing and go, okay? The feet, they don't move up until you unlock it, and then they move up. And then the feet turn into a little, little grip, which I find fabulous it is so much more comfortable to hold in these curly bits I'm wondering if somebody has invented a if I had a CD uh, if I had a 3d printer I would print so much shit I have so many ideas for things um, like handlebars that clip on this that that are more comfortable to hold stuff like that if you need longer reach you flip these legs back down okay you can do that too and you can extend it so now if you need a really long selfie stick you can have a really long selfie stick but if you need to put this in your bag you flip it back up and it is with 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 the ball head it's the same height as the joby and if you move the the ball head down for for space saving measures it's shorter okay I also weighed them this one although all metal construction taller and handier to hold weighs about 10 grams less 
than the Joby without the ball head. Obviously, adding the ball head, same ball head for both of them would add the same amount of weight. But this is actually lighter, which surprised the heck out of me. I was holding it and I was thinking, this is not heavy, this is nice and light. Also, is this, it's just more compact, so it feels heavier, but it's not. And I have a very accurate scale, so trust me on that. So, I'm going on a, on a little tiny vacation this weekend to Kisova Easter. And I was debating with myself, which one of those two tripods should I bring? But I keep on, I keep on coming with this one. It's just, it's just the easier one to use. If you need it on a table or even on the, on the ground, um, you can put it anywhere and then you just grab and go. It has non-slip feet. They're literally non-slip. It has a, a, a thing here that I don't know why you need that. I suppose, oh yeah, it comes with a little bag. I should probably mention that. Um, yeah, you can probably hang this thing on there. And then you hang the whole thing on your pants if you want. I don't know why. Um, it also has another column. If you don't like an extendable column because you're not one of these people that that needs extendable columns, but if you have it, why not? Or you want more, more something more lightweight, you can uninstall this and install this. You can also take the whole thing off and just have these legs to put your camera on top of that. But in order to do that, you need this teensy weensy hex key. They yeah, they come in different sizes. Like this is a regular size. I'm thinking this is probably an IKEA size. This is like a teensy weensy one. So don't lose it. If you buy the tripod, it comes with a ball head already. And then the whole thing comes in this handy little uh, zipper bag. That is frankly not very good quality, but. You can you can put your tripod in there and then throw in your bag if you want or you I just put it in my bag because camera bags usually are padded. So you don't really need you don't really need any kind of padding around your tripod. I'm thinking I'm gonna be one of those vloggers that goes against the uh, norm and goes with a stiff tripod that doesn't wrap around trees. Um just simply because First of all, I have to really hold my arm far away with this one because it's shorter. And secondly, because this is so much more comfortable to hold. I don't I don't want this. This is uncomfortable to hold. And I know I'm just whiny about it. And I should just do what everybody does, but I don't. So there. This is the Siriu. Oh Siriu. Sirui, oh god, how do you say that? Can't you just, okay, Sirui, I write the name below. Sirui 3T35K, it also comes in red if you want, if, if you want it red. And this one, I will keep because it's handy to have, but it's not my favorite. I will record myself and other things with this one. This one, I'm just, I just, I'm not confident. I'm not confident with them. And, and, and if I want a leveled image, I literally have to spend minutes to trying to level this thing out. This is not as easy as it looks. Um, it's like, you gotta be crafty with these things. I mean, yes, it's great for certain things, but so is this one. So I was actually thinking maybe I should bring both. If I ever should have the need to put my camera on a tree, I'll mount it on this one, but I don't know. Why would I want to put my camera on a tree? When I bought this ball head from Joby, this was called the Ball Head X. It's now called Ball Head 5K, and it comes as kit with the 5K tripod. I've had this for a long time. 
I don't even know, for a long time. What appealed to me was that it had a um, a lever for for the horizontal rotation or whatever that's called, and a separate lever for for moving the ball head on top. It has an Arca Swiss quick release clamp on the top, which is shaped like an X, and in my opinion, this is great because it shaves off a little bit of weight. Um, because you don't really, as long as you have these four corners, it's a square, you don't really need all of the material that they that they took off here. Um, but this thing is so underrated. <clears throat> and, and that's another reason why I wanted to make this video, because everybody's talking about the Gorilla Pods, Gorilla Pods here, flexible, blah, 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 nice legs and whatever. Those are products that don't last but this thing I bought for 69 US dollars it's hefty it's it's a big heavy ball head and it holds my camera so well it's the best ball head I have ever tried so this is coming with me everywhere I use this all the time and it's never failed me here's my quick review about my little tripod I do have a, okay, just because I'm losing street cred here, if I don't say that, I do have a full size carbon fiber tripod that I take with me when I take long exposure photography or whatever. But I'm usually not with a tripod because tripods are big and cumbersome and I usually shoot everything handheld. So um, this is one of my tripods. It's my little Siri, 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 whatever, and I love it, and I highly recommend it. So if you're interested, look into it. I'm sure it's not going to disappoint you. All right, so with that said, I hope you have a great day, and um, hopefully I will see you soon. If not, happy Easter. Bye. <laughs>